This is Hollywood. Matthias Bombell with you. Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures brings us Kevin Costner in McFarland, USA, in which he plays a coach recently dismissed from a major college football team. He forms a cross-country team at a small, nondescript school and makes state champions out of them. Yes, it's another movie taken from the pages of real life and is set in 1986. Costner, his wife and daughter, arrive in small McFarland, California, populated mostly by Mexican-American farm workers. In his early days at the new school, he manages to irritate the head football coach and gets a small demotion. Urged by his wife to keep struggling on, he has an inspiration. Can I talk to you a minute? Yeah. Do you mind if I shut the door? This requires a shut door? Cross-country running. California is holding their first state championship this year. Cross-country? That's a private school sport. They breathe different no, air than we do. No, it's the same air. You do understand we don't have a cross-country team? Yeah, what I don't understand is why we have a football team instead. I mean, we have, we have kids here who seem like they can run forever. They carb load on rice and beans. I mean, they pick an extreme heat. They go to school all day. Some of them even run home. I've seen it. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And you've just described half the kids in the Central Valley. Jim, let me ask you something. You've coached cross-country before? No. Track? No. But you ran? Competed in high school, maybe? No. Well, you sound perfect. Undaunted, he presses on with his plan, but finds that the students aren't very impressed with him either. And with a name like Mr. White, you may bet he's going to get a razzing from the young Mexican-American boys on his new cross-country team. Their first day begins like this. <laughs> Danny Diaz? Hey, we needed seven. Yeah, seven runners, not six runners in. Danny Diaz. Hey, Danny's our anchor. And he'll drag our ass down. All right, knock it off, Buenes. See if those legs work as fast as your mouth. Elmo Bridge and back, go. Go. Hey, I mean it, all right? You're my anchor, Danny, and not because you're fat. And you are a little fat, okay? So you better lose some weight. So why am I the anchor? Because you're gonna hold this team steady. Okay? I lose you, I'll lose your brothers. You're important, Diaz. Let's go. From this unlikely beginning, he makes them much better, little by little, but multiple challenges present themselves as they do in life. Will they make it to the state championships? The cultural differences and learning to adapt is much at the basis of this movie, all summed up and packaged in a way that is not like life, but more like Disney. It's the same type of story we've seen before from this studio, repackaged with a different ethnicity. The last time they gave us this type of movie was Million Dollar Arm with John Hamm, released in April of last year, not even a year from the time of this movie release. I find it unfortunate, with all the brilliant original ideas for movies sitting unproduced on studio shelves, that they only rehash what they made before with a proven track record to make money again. I'm not condemning this movie. For many, it will be perfectly entertaining, and there are no examples of bad performances. The production values, too, are quite competent. It just all seems so familiar and predictable. I also felt this movie is a little long. So you'll not have a bad time seeing this, but you may have a sense of déjà vu if you do. This story of the underdog climbing to the top has been given a PG rating by the Motion Picture Association of America. This is your pal, Matthias Bombell, bidding you a fond farewell. <laughs>